All right, guys, it's 115 out here. And as you can see, we got a fire going. The sky is a funky color. This fire started yesterday. We've got ash falling everywhere. Plants are covered in ash. Tables are covered in ash. The ground, the cars, everything is covered right now. So I'm inside because the air quality out here is just horrible. You see all of that? My daughter and I were out running errands yesterday and we saw this fire starting on the side of the mountain. It was a small fire and now it is just huge. I mean, we've got ash on everything. Got the entire garden is out here covered because like I said, we're at 115 degrees yesterday and today. Wow, look at the kids trampoline. Look at all of that. So everything out here is just scorching. I mean, I'm watering deeply in the mornings and then I've got to come back out in the afternoon. And, uh, oh my goodness, the wind just blew and blew ash all over me. But I'm still losing some things. I mean, look at the tops of the basil. I've got some scorching on the tomatoes and like I said even I have this 12 by 12 canopy up so all of my potted tomatoes I had to move look at this guys don't know if this is going to be the end of the vegetable garden or not look at my vines over here because I actually made the mistake of spraying them a couple of days ago um, for uh, spider mites and aphids. I sprayed them with the, it's a solution. It's not actually neem oil, but it does have neem oil in it. And as you can see, yeah, this heat just fried them. I can't pull them yet because I do still have some melons on there. I have three melons on there and they're not ripe yet. The bell peppers are hanging in here. They're actually turning red. I guess it's because we have the high heats now. But um, pole beans over there just kind of frying. I mean, the flower garden, of course, is thriving because I only plant full sun, drought tolerant plants that can make it out here in zone 9B and above. Even these hibiscus that I picked up, all of these within the last couple of weeks on clearance mostly, um, they're actually flowering. Because as you know, hibiscus are tropical plants and they love high heat so I'm really hoping they get this fire out soon tomorrow we are supposed to drop down to 106 yes I said drop down <laughs> but um, anything I mean two days two days at 115 degrees after being 109 for an entire week. I mean, anything that will give us a break is definitely welcome. So hopefully these melons make it. I mean, it's just the foliage on here. It looks ugly, but like I said, it's hanging in there. These pole beans, I think I'm just gonna cut them all the way back down banana peppers hanging in got a couple of little babies on there 
some blooms up here. Got another one coming in. I think that uh, crookneck squash over there is done. I don't think it can take this heat. But, I mean, you guys, <laughs> we gotta do what we gotta do. I mean, you know, in certain areas, you know, this is life. This is life. So, it's fall season. Well, it's supposed to be. I mean, you see how our fall is. And, um, if it's time to start over, then it's time to start over. My little melons over there, they're hanging in there. They're doing pretty good. One grapevine is thriving. The other one gets a little more sun, so it's kind of struggling right now. And you guys forgive my voice, but like I said, it's hot and there's ash falling everywhere. So got kind of hoarse from yesterday. But uh, this climbing. Black-Eyed Susan absolutely adores the heat. So it's doing good. I planted some you new know, cucumbers over here. And uh, they're hanging in here. I know the birds, if you can hear them, they're all in the bushes yelling at me right now. They've been coming and uh, pecking around my sprinklers because uh, they need water. I put an extra container way back there in the corner for them. And they're able to get through the fencing on the pond over there and uh, they get in there and get water too but it's really hot and they've got to get water wherever they can and i'm not even mad at the squirrels right now i mean you know they gotta live too <laughs> so some things are hanging in and then like i said some things are scorching but um i hope you guys are having a wonderful extended weekend. I myself don't do holidays, but I know others do, and I hope you guys enjoy yours. All these beautiful birds everywhere. Gonna see if I can get a little closer on some of them. Like I said, with the color of the sky out here, it's a little hard to try to record. Everything is a funky yellow orange color. So it's really making the camera look a little crazy right now. guys pray for California and like I said hopefully they'll get this fire under control you all know it's a little hard to put a fire out when you've got temps this high oh man my crepe myrtle that's all right I'll just have to prune it back but um yeah even my succulents this one was closer in the sun yesterday. Look at all this scorching. Look at that. All of these that are still in pots, of course, I had to take them out of the sun. Hopefully my fruit trees, they're getting a little scorched too. I think I'm gonna have to move these guys. You know, fruit trees love full sun, high heat, but uh, there's a limit for them also. The pomegranate tree doesn't seem to mind too much. Oh, my apple tree. Don't mind that hole over there, you guys. <laughs> it's not actually a hole, it's the siding. It needs to be done. But that's the thing about a house. It always, always needs something done. But anyway, you guys pray for us. Pray they get this fire out really quickly and that these temperatures drop. Thanks for joining me for this random video. And you guys stay blessed.